Have you ever wondered how a massive football field just disappears? No, it's not magic. It's these super cool building skills. And today we're going to get into how the awesome world of stadiums hide their entire fields like it's no big deal. You got to see it to believe it. Modern stadiums are no longer just big bowls where fans yell and players run around anymore. They're these amazing technological marvels, cool design experiments, and they save on space too. In a world where every bit of space matters, the people who make stadiums are trying to do one thing, make stadiums do more stuff, because let's be real, using a huge place for just one sport, that's not enough these days. Think of these big buildings like the coolest Swiss Army knife ever. They're not just for watching games, they're fun places that can change completely depending on what's happening that day. How cool is that? One day you got a soccer game, the next is a big music show, and maybe the day after that, monster trucks. All in the same place. And that's why they make these moving fields. It's not make-believe, it's totally real. These stadiums actually keep their fields underground in parking spots or on big trays that roll outside to get some sun. Why do they do this? Because now stadiums are also concert halls, football fields, places to eat, and even big meeting rooms. Just think about pushing a button and watching a whole football field move. It's like having the biggest plant ever that needs to go outside for sun. These amazing systems move super slow, but they're crazy strong, like a thousand elephants pushing together. But moving a field isn't just about getting it out of the way. They have to do it fast enough, make sure it's safe, and keep the grass healthy too. That means special lights, air systems, underground rooms with robot lawnmowers, and so much cool tech stuff it'll make your head spin. The grass needs to be just the right, perfect water, the right heat, the exact right amount of light. Think about having the pickiest plant ever, but it's huge, and people are paying tons of money to play on it. The workers have to make everything perfect every day. So let's look at some of the world's coolest stadiums that can move their fields around like no big deal and meet the weird and wonderful people who love their grass like it's their child. Let's start with a stadium that gave everyone else the idea, State Farm. Home to the Cardinals in Arizona, this place doesn't just host football games, it shows off some seriously cool moving stuff. Wow, this stadium totally changed how people think about stadiums. Before it was built, everyone thought the grass had to stay put. Boring! The people who made this stadium look at normal ones and thought, hey, what if the whole field could move? And they actually did it. So here's how it works. The field sits on this huge tray, and when the grass needs sun, the whole field rolls outside the stadium really slowly, about as fast as a turtle. It's like seeing a giant green carpet slowly moving out the door, except the carpet weighs 9,000 plus tons. That's heavier than 2,000 elephants all standing on a giant moving platform, and it moves so slowly, about as fast as someone walking that's super lazy. Watching this thing move is like seeing a building take a walk really weird, but really awesome. Why go through all this trouble though? Easy answer, grass needs sun and football grass that stays inside too long looks sad and dead. So State Farm said, let's make a parking spot for our field. And they did. Without sun, the grass would get all yellow and gross and eventually die. And nobody wants to play big games on ugly dead grass. So instead of making a stadium with a giant hole in the roof, which would be pretty useless when it rains, they made the whole field be able to move. Smart. Fun fact, the people who made Allegiant in Vegas, yeah, they totally copied this idea. When something works this good, why not do it again, right? Las Vegas, the place with the lights, the shows, and now fields that move. Allegiant Stadium, where the Raiders and the Rebels play, decided one field wasn't cool enough. Nope, they wanted two. Because why have one super expensive field when you could have two? That's some Vegas thinking right there. Double or nothing, baby. The stadium makers thought, hey, we're in Vegas, so let's go crazy. And they sure did. So they built two levels, one four feet below the other. The Raiders play on real grass. The Rebels, they like the fake turf better. So Allegiant can switch between a real field and a fake one like a cool Vegas card trick. Four feet difference between the two playing surfaces doesn't sound like much, but it's a big deal in stadium building. The whole setup is like a magic show. First you see grass, now you see turf. Ta-da! The perfect stadium magic trick. The grass field slides outside the stadium to get sun while the fake turf gets used. And to make it all work, they put in the super strong floors that can hold players, coaches, and even big camera staffs without any wobbling. Because nobody wants to see a quarterback trip because the floor gets shaky. Imagine trying to kick a game-winning field goal while the ground moves like jelly. That would be pretty awful, so they made sure everything stays super sod. The builders probably had bad dreams about things breaking during the Super Bowl. No pressure, right? 
Oh, and they all keep the whole field running right next to the stadium because in Vegas, space costs big money, just like the poker chips. All right, heading to Spain now. Real Madrid's famous Santiago Bernabeu Stadium isn't just an amazing place for soccer. It's like a sci-fi field hiding fortress. And yep, it's got underground rooms and robot lawnmowers too. The famous Real Madrid, one of the biggest soccer teams in the whole world. So of course their stadium's got to be super special. When they told everybody about their new stadium plans, the fans went crazy. The team promised a new stadium from the future, and they delivered. The Bernabeu uses something called Hypogea system, made by a company called Center. It sounds fancy, and it totally is. The whole grass field splits into pieces that give move by robot carts into an underground growing room. That's like some kind of secret spa for grass. That name, Hypogea, sounds like something out of a space movie. Release the Hypogea! The system cuts the field into pieces, kind of like slicing a cake, and then moves each piece underground. It's crazy cool to watch. The grass gets its own private elevator ride. And this isn't just some dark basement. No way. The room has its own heating and cooling system, special air treatment, grow lights, automatic watering, even cameras to watch every bit of grass. It's basically a super fancy hotel for grass. The grass lives better than most people. Perfect temperature rooms, awesome lighting, and just the right amount of water. Talk about spoiled grass. The people who work at the stadium probably treat this grass better than their own yards at home. Real Madrid wanted a stadium that could do concerts, events, and more without messing up their soccer field, so now they just move it away, have a big show, and then bring it back like nothing happened. Super smart? Yes. Super expensive? Oh, you bet. The cost for this new stadium was huge, but Real Madrid wants only the best stuff, and now they can make money from the stadium every day of the year instead of just game days. Smart business and amazing building skills all in one awesome package. Welcome to North London, home of the Tottenham Hotspur, and a stadium that doesn't just hide a field, it breaks it into pieces. Yeah, the field actually splits it into three giant parts and rolls under the stadium. Tottenham's new stadium is absolutely crazy awesome. While they were building it, people kept hearing rumors about how high-tech it was going to be. But nobody expected a field that could split apart like this. It's like watching a magic trick whose giant pieces start moving. Why? Because the stadium has two jobs, English soccer and American football. And let's be honest, NFL folks have got some very specific needs. So Tottenham built their soccer field to roll away while a whole different NFL field lies beneath. NFL and English Premier League made a deal to play American football games in London and Tottenham saw a golden opportunity. Instead of wrecking their perfect soccer field with NFL cleats, they just built a whole different field beneath it. Problem solved in the most over-the-top way possible. The biggest challenge? Holding up the massive south stand, which fits over 17,000 without putting columns up everywhere. So they built two giant trees, these gigantic metal structures that hold up the entire stand, leaving space underneath for the field to sneak away. Kind of like sneaking out when nobody's watching. Those metal trees are enormous. They look like something out of a sci-fi movie, holding up thousands of tons of concrete and metal while leaving enough room for a whole soccer field to slide underneath. The people who designed this gotta be super geniuses, right? So where does the field go, you might ask? Into a parking garage, for real. It rolls under the stadium, past some rubber edges, and parks itself in what looks like a fancy underground garage. There are even special lights and robot lawnmowers to keep the grass healthy. That's right, the field lives in what's basically an underground parking lot, but instead of cars, there's a whole soccer field down there and robot lawnmowers that zoom around cutting the grass when nobody's watching. It's like something out of a cartoon, but totally real. The change from soccer to NFL takes four and a half hours. That's it. One minute's Premier League soccer. The next, it's NFL football. And hidden inside the stadium, fancy eating rooms that also work as TV studios. It's a stadium with two personalities, and somehow it all works. Just four and a half hours to completely change an entire stadium. That's faster than most of us can clean our houses. A bunch of workers move super fast, and then suddenly, what was a soccer field becomes a totally different sports palace. Teamwork makes the dream work, and it's absolutely mind-blowing. When you think about stadiums, you probably picture loud crowds, expensive hot dogs, and exciting games, but behind the scenes, it's more like a space mission control room. These are places where every tiny bit of space has to do multiple jobs. The control rooms for these stadiums look like they could launch rocket ships, screens everywhere, buttons and levers that control massive systems, and tech people watching everything super carefully. One wrong button push and millions of dollars of grass down the drain. 
These amazing buildings show the absolute best of what people can build. They're not just big, they're smart too. Every part's connected, talking to other parts, making tiny changes all day long to keep everything perfect. The people who run these places have to be part builder, part plan expert, and part magician. From trays that roll out like giant drawers to robot mowers that keep that grass green while it lives underground, this is like engineering theater. Every system, every screw, every light in these moving field systems exists for one reason to be super flexible. And that flexibility costs millions, but it also makes the stadium useful every single day, not just on game days. Think about regular stadiums that sit empty most of the week. What a waste. These new super stadiums can have a soccer game on Saturday, a rock concert Sunday, business meeting Monday, and be ready for something else on Tuesday. The owners can make money every single day instead of just when there's a game happening. Plus, there's something really beautiful about these fields. They're living things. They need sun, water, care, and space. And even when hidden under a concert stage or moved away for a full NFL game, there's a team making sure the grass stays healthy and ready to play on. It's like having a secret garden under your house, only way, way heavier. The relationship between the grass keepers and their grass is amazing. They care so much about every little part. They know which spots dry out faster, or which areas need extra help, and exactly how many minutes of sun the grass needs every day. These grass keepers probably know more about the grass than anyone else on the planet. They can spot a problem from all the way across the stadium. That corner is looking a bit thirsty today. They probably are dreaming about perfect grass conditions. And the tech keeps getting better too. The new robot mowers can actually cut grass super precisely, keeping it exactly at the right height. Lighting systems copy natural sunlight so perfectly that the grass can't tell if it's underground or outside on a sunny day. What will they think of next? So next time you're watching a game, remember somewhere someone is actually driving an actual football field through a tunnel hoping they don't crash into a car. Just imagine being that person in charge of moving 9,000 tons of grass and dirt through a tight underground tunnel. That stress must be crazy high. As stadiums get smarter, more flexible, and more event-friendly, we're going to see more wild ideas. Maybe a floating field next? Probably not. But then again, five years ago, nobody thought grass could live in a basement either. Who knows what amazing stadium features are being created now? Maybe fields that can change or surface that can switch from grass to ice for hockey in minutes? The possibilities are endless. The next batch of stadiums will probably make the current ones look old-fashioned. More and more cities want these multi-use super stadiums. Cities want places that can host everything from sports to concerts to big meetings. The more flexible the stadium, the more valuable it is, and that's why builders keep pushing what's possible. Every new stadium needs to be more impressive than the last. And it's not just about what they can do. The stadiums are becoming famous buildings, too. Their unique designs bring tourists who want to take tours even when nothing's happening. Santiago is already one of Madrid's most visited places. These aren't just sports places anymore. They're tourist spots, too. Now, all this stuff needs backup systems, too. What happens if the power goes out? Well, there are emergency generators ready to kick up so the grass doesn't die. How about water problems? Multiple water systems are ready to go. These places plan for every possible thing that could go wrong because the show must go on. The amount of money these stadiums cost is mind-blowing. We are talking billions of dollars. But team owners think it's worth every penny because now they have buildings that can make money 365 days a year instead of just 20 to 30 game days. And the fans love these new super stadiums too. Better seats, better food, better views, and way more exciting experience. New Tottenham Stadium even has its own brewery in there and special areas where fans can watch the players arrive on their fancy buses. Everything designed to be as cool as possible. That's the wild world of stadiums with disappearing fields where grass rolls around, robots cut it, and sport meets super cool tech. Hey, we are committed to releasing two of these videos every week, so please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more visionary builds.